trapped on a coronavirus plague ship off the coast of California. Seven News has spoken to an Australian couple on board. They're worried they'll be the next to catch the virus. Bill Pierce boarded an adventure on the high seas. We had the luxury of a window. Not much going on out there. But, but he and his wife Karen have found themselves quarantined on a floating prison. Give you a sneak peek down the empty corridor. Now I'm probably going to get arrested. <laughs> the first Australians on board the Grand Princess to speak out. <coughs> you don't have a lot of space, do you? Oh no, we don't have a lot of space. In fact, the chair I'm sitting on is the only one in the room. A space they've shared for 16 days and that might be home for much longer. I guess I'm more concerned with what happened on the diamonds. Uh, the infection is spread by maybe the crew even giving us meals or through the air conditioning, we don't know. We... The pieces are just two of the thousands confined to their cabins. As long as we've got Vegemite, it's all good. 21 others on board have tested positive for coronavirus. Before we got to find our cabins, we were asking a beer run. The funny thing was, the beer that we got was, I don't know if you can show this, but it's corona. They're now facing weeks in quarantine. Certainly, I would like to get out and get some fresh air, that's for sure. The Grand Princess was due to dock here today with another voyage setting sail. Instead, the marina is under lock and key, and the three and a half thousand people on board, including the four Australians, are living in limbo, 90 kilometres off the coast. Sally and Nigel flew from the UK to board today. Can you imagine the prospect of spending days on end in one of those cabins? No, I even a fort. It's definitely is a fort, isn't it? Gratitude for being on dry land as others remain stranded at sea. In San Francisco, Amelia Brace, 7 News.